Tinkerbell the dog. And I'm her little sister, Belle. And And this this is is our podcast. Fierce, fabulous, fluff. Talking about stuff. Gossip pops. Fierce, fabulous, fluff. Talking about stuff. Gossip pops. Happy Friday, everyone. I'm Tinkerbell. And I'm Belle. And And welcome welcome to Gossip Gossip Pops. Episode 51. Episode 51, Cinquenta y Uno. Cinquenta y Uno and no break. <laughs> Happy no Cinquenta break, everyone. y Uno. Although we are getting a little bit of a late start. Yes, people would think probably we're on a break because but we're not. We're late. But just kidding, <laughs> we're not. Happy Friday. Yeah, happy Friday, everyone. Last Friday of December. Wow. How does it feel? It feels weird. Almost a new year, Belle. Wow. Almost a new year. Well, I'm looking forward to a new year because 2023 was really amazing for us. So I can't wait for what 2024 will bring. It's going to bring amazing things. Hope everyone had a fabulous, beautiful Christmas. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I hope everyone had the best Christmas ever. Yeah, and I had a miracle. And I hope everyone got what they wanted from Santa Claus. Yeah, I'm going to talk about that in banter. Okay. But I have to say... You did. You had a Christmas miracle, Belle. I had a Christmas miracle. <laughs> serious Christmas. Really serious, everyone. Human was jumping around for joy. I'm surprised you didn't hear her. Yeah, I know. I'm surprised the whole world didn't hear. Because all But we haven't revealed it yet. We haven't revealed the Christmas miracle. I don't know what came over me. But all of a sudden, I can bark on command. Yes, you can. It just happened. Human's (laughs) been working and she, I think she gave up. She oh, like, she definitely did for Belle's a while. Belle's not going to get this. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Belle needs skills. <laughs> <laughs> you had no skills. I have so many skills. I mean, I have skills, Tink. Come on. I do a lot. Like, I can do the commands that get me on commercials and everything. Yes, you can. You can sit. You can stay. Lay down. Lay down. I can't even sit pretty. You can't sit pretty. I don't sit pretty. I have a delicate, delicate... Bum. Back. Bum. Bum. I have a delicate bum and a delicate spine. Yes. I don't sit like that. I've got a big, fat, firm <laughs> butt. <laughs> and I can sit up and so it pretty. can Yes, it can hold you and you can sit yeah. like a meerkat. But like the agents are like, can Belle bark on command even though she's young? And I could never do it. And then all of a sudden, I was... Playing with human in bed with a toy, and it just happened. Mm-hmm. She teasingly went, "Speak," and I did it. So now, my now s- you finally understand. I get it totally. I don't know what took You've me so long. You've done it so many more times. Yeah, I really got it now. But yes, you do. Even you, without you have treats. it down. You have it down. So that was my Christmas miracle, everyone. Santa brought Belle speaking on cue. Yeah. And do you know what happened? I (laughs) was doing it so much, I lost my voice. (laughs) (laughs) I was silently, it was like, (sighs) (laughs) it wouldn't come out after a while. It was so funny. It was like silent barking. So for those of you that saw that video now you know why because i was doing it literally all day because human was so excited and so was i that by the nighttime i couldn't speak (laughs) (laughs) but that was my christmas miracle (laughs) it was amazing it was was good and then we had home dinner for the holidays yes and santa we left him cookies. We left him four cookies. <laughs> four cookies. On Christmas Eve. And do you know he ate only one? Only one. What's the matter with the other three? Well, think about all the cookies that he has to eat the I entire guess he's night. too full. It's wild, yeah. Yeah, but he did eat it. But he can't be rude. No, he so can't he be rude. he has to take at least a bite. He had one cookie, took the whole cookie, 
Maybe he gave it to Rudolph. I don't know. But he did eat one cookie and he left us presents. Yes. So much good presents. We got fashions. We got toys. We got treats. Mm -hmm. We got everything you could want. Yes. And a Christmas miracle. What could be be better? We had the best Christmas ever. It was a great Christmas. Yeah. And then we um, went and worked with our friends at the Salon 1L. Yes, we did. We had Spa Day. Spa Day. Manny Petty. Manny they gave us water. They gave us coffee, lattes. Mm-hmm. They're so nice there. Fabulous. If you were in New York City, that you is the to place go. to go. It's called a Russian Manny Petty. And you can get it. They do it at the same time. Yeah, human loves it. Yeah, it's amazing. And it comes out like perfect. And you know why? It lasts longer than any other kind of mani-pedi, apparently. Yes, it does. And they don't soak your hands and feet in anything. No water at all. No water, no ointments, no bleh. Mm-hmm. So yeah. less disease. Yes, much more sanitary. Mm-hmm. And much better. Much better. I think so. Much better. I mean, yeah. humans' nails look great. Her n- nails look even fierce and fabulous, but not <laughs> fluff. <laughs> not fluff. <laughs> not fluff, but fierce, fierce and fabulous. <laughs> And then what we talked about last week that we couldn't talk about was Morton Salt Our Safety Morton pet. Salt Safety Pet campaign. We this had This was the most amazing campaign. It was so much fun. First of all, it was so much fun to shoot. Second of all, <laughs> it's really an amazing product. Like anybody, even if you don't have a pet, you need to get this because if a pet walks past your front door, it's safe. Like, you can stand on it. You can eat it by accident. You could do whatever you want. And it's not harmful at all to the pets. Exactly. And it's better for human boots. Like, why do you want all that bad stuff on your boots? Exactly. And that's why I'm always so nervous to walk around during the wintertime. Yeah. and Because you don't know if the salt is safe or not. Yeah, and you don't need those silly rubber things over your feet. Mm -hmm. It's so good. And they sell it everywhere. And and apparently they sold out so fast that now everybody has to order it online. Oh, I did not know that. Which is better anyway because I like ordering stuff online. It comes right to the door. I know. And I open the door and there it is. There it is. But it was the most fun campaign and it's really, I highly, 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 highly recommend it. I think it's great. I mean, I wish it was maybe like required to use everywhere me too because then you wouldn't be nervous about bringing your dog places yeah especially the big guys or letting the dogs out and the big dogs you know a lot of that bad stuff gets stuck in their pads of their feet Mm -hmm. and And it burns yeah burns this doesn't hurt at all tink and i walk through it all the time we're excited about it it was a really fun. You grabbed that huge jug and started I was like, <laughs> pouring Let's it go. everywhere, Bell. <laughs> Pour it out. That was the most fun was pouring it. <laughs> Besides walking in it. I don't do the hard labor. At first Tink was like, Wait, is this going to burn my feet? I've not experienced anything because I don't really get to walk much. <laughs> but Tink's experienced it. So she was like, Wait, is this gonna burn my feet? And then Human told her, no, Tink, this is this is good. This is safe. And that's why it's called safety. And Tink did it. And she's like, wow, this is amazing. Yes, I definitely recommend if you have a pet and you're in a winter climate. Which a everybody cold climate, is. Even in Florida, it gets Sometimes frost gets ice. Yeah. In the morning. So, ice in the morning. Yeah. So, yeah, guys. Morton Salt Safety mm-hmm. Pet. Morton Salt Safety Pet is 25,000 paws up. 25,000 paws up. <laughs> Every puppy's paws in the world are going up. Paws up. Paws up, everyone. So that was that. So you finally got to see that fun campaign that we talked about last week that we couldn't tell you what it was. And then another surprise for us. Our what? friends at Love Sack sent us an- oh, goodness. another Swarovski foot sack. <laughs> I can't even deal. We're just we're just dripping in Swarovski. <laughs> and it's so beautiful. Do you know there's a pocket inside for your feet, which is why it's called a That's foot sack? That's why it's a foot sack, Belle. 
I found it and I crawled in it and I stay there. <laughs> and I'm surrounded I know, it's by called, It should be called a pup sack. Yeah, pup sack. <laughs> yeah, it should be called a bell sack, actually. Hey. You haven't discovered Well, I don't really do that, yeah. But Fine, call it a bell sack. Fluff and Tawaski surrounded me. <laughs> it was amazing. It's amazing. I love it. I mean, human enjoys it too, though. Yeah. It's a comfy blanket. Yeah. And gives some bling. Yeah. It's excellent. Oh, you know what I want to tell everyone before what? we move on to the what gossip? Yes. <laughs> if you want any merch, there's a secret out. Oh. January 3rd through 7th, you can get any of our Gossip Pups or Tink and Bell merch for 20 Four percent off. Why twenty four? Oh, two thousand twenty four. Silly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I had to tell everyone that because, you know, that's all big savings. That is big savings. Twenty four percent. And you gotta try. You gotta start off twenty twenty four with some new gossip pups and Absolutely. Tink and Bell merch. Exactly. Exactly right. Definitely. So I think that's all the banter I have. Oh, I got, I, got, I got to say one more thing. One more thing. Okay. Do you guys watch the PBS show, All Creatures? Oh. It's so good. Okay. It's not in the U.S. yet, but we got to see it. We did get to see it. We watched the whole, how many episodes, think seven? Seven. There's only seven episodes for the 2024 season, and it's so good. Just saying... Something for everybody to look forward to. Mm-hmm. And you, and the way I learned about it was Tink taught me because Tink did a campaign for them when it first started. How many seasons now is this? Four. So you did it four years ago? Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, that's how how long it's been. Like, I, I just learned about it because Tink taught me, so I've been catching up. It's all creatures, great and small. And it's so good. On PBS. PBS. You highly know, recommend. Highly recommend. You know what? Catch up. Because yes, you can watch you can one, two, and three, and then when one, two, four three. comes here, you could watch it. Yes, I think four starts in January, so it's starting soon. Yeah, I'm so sad. It's over. It's such a short se- season, seven episodes. Yes, and we got through it so quickly. Yeah, they're just so good. It's just perfect. Anyway, there you go. There we go. That's my banter for episode 51. The banter. The bantering. Banter. All right. Oh gosh, here Are we, we go. Are we moving on to pop culture? Finally, I've been waiting for this. I mean, yeah, it's been a it's been a quiet time though, you know, Christmas time. A lot yeah. of boring stories that boring. I just was not going to select. I understand, Tink. Boring. I don't care where you're vacationing. I feel you, Tink. I don't care where they're going out to dinner. I know. I me don't either. care. We don't care. <laughs> Do something that's gossip worthy. <laughs> All right, so, but the big news of the week, big which news. happened yesterday, was Gypsy Rose Blanchard was released from prison. Yes, yes, and okay. go ahead. Go, okay. Tink. I won't say anything. Go. Well, she was released, and she has a husband, which, which I did not know. Me either. Like, where he come from? But he's planning her first real date, and she's going to get all gussied up. Hmm. So, I mean, there's been so many videos of her on the internet. They showed her going out and buying shoes and yes. um, talking to the press. And there's so much happening. But um, the husband is a 37-year-old Louisiana special education teacher. Yes. And he picked up Gypsy from the Correctional Center in Missouri on Thursday. And she served eight years. Mm-hmm. For the role of the murder of her abusive mother, Dee Dee. Well, instead aiding of in ten. the murder. Instead yes, of instead ten. of 10. So, Gypsy and Anderson's relationship prior to her release will be shown in Lifetime's gripping new docuseries, The Prison Confessions of Gypsy Rose Blanchard, premiering January 5th. I know, something, mark your calendars, everybody. I, I'm very curious and interested because... I'm very where, interested in this. Where did this, this guy come from that they've been married for a year? I had no idea. How'd you get married in jail? He wasn't in jail. I'm so confused. Me too. I don't understand this human jail thing. I I don't either. Okay, go ahead. Anyway, he said some things like he's going to make gumbo for her. 
because she's from Louisiana, that's her favorite food, and he makes gumbo, so that's what he's gonna make dinner. I don't know if I would um, look forward to that. <laughs> I don't think so. Pass. And, um, Passing on that because I don't know what it is. And then it sounds weird. Anderson and her family, including her dad Rod. First of all, was Wait. there a dad? I there think was there a was dad, a dad, that but there was he, no contact at all. The mother wouldn't let let him it, like be involved. Okay. Well, the dad and the I stepmom, stepmom, and her half siblings are half gathering siblings. to welcome her home and recreate the holiday for her. Recreate Christmas. Wow. Yes. Well, I just want to say I think everybody must be agreeing with what I'm thinking. Well, hmm. what are you thinking, Belle? <laughs> I'm thinking that I don't know why she was in jail when so much was wrongly done to her since she was a baby. She had unnecessary surgeries. She had unnecessary treatments. And apparently there was nothing ever was wrong with her. So the mother was crazy and no one did anything. So that's why she had to take it to this extreme to get away from this craziness she even had her in a wheelchair i know i'm not saying it's right to, to tell someone anyone. to do that i'm not saying that's right either however i think that the court should have been like this girl's been tortured her whole life and she, I know. she was how old is she now um ooh. i don't know but she was age. like older and i just don't understand like they let her out after eight years but really she was she's 32 years old yeah. but she probably has the mind of still a 15 year old like yeah a teenager well because her mom always told everyone she was younger than she was because she was small and the mom wouldn't give her food everything was locked like it was just it's just a crazy if you don't know this story you gotta follow up like just Google it because there's so many TV specials about it. And mm -hmm. I just honestly don't think she belonged in jail. Because of what don't was think done so to her. Either. See, and obviously her father and his new wife and everyone don't think so either. If they're welcoming her and celebrating with her. Mm -hmm. I think she should not have been in jail. I completely honestly agree. Yeah. Well, because... I think just the mental toll on her for so long. And the physical. And, well, yes, the physical. But it's like she doesn't even know what's right and wrong. <laughs> I don't even think the girl, yeah, she doesn't know, like, reality and lifestyle, anything. No, she even says that she only knows of life. Um, She only knows of the outside world what was in Disney cartoons. See? And all of the celebrities are on her side because Jax who we know she's writing on her post how she wants to meet her in person and write a song from her point of view and everything so I think a lot of people are thinking like us and I don't know she should not have served eight years in jail but where did this man come from that she's married to I don't exactly no i'm trying to see in this article but it does say that the dad and stepmom wanted her to wait to marry until after her release but the couple feels they are solid and have what it takes to make it well he's a special ed teacher so i think that might help maybe yeah but do you know this girl woman whatever she is is going to be a gazillionaire She's got a book coming out that you can pre-order. She's got mm -hmm. a TV special. She has a lot going on. There's so much going on that she's going to have so much money and hopefully happiness now. I hope. Who knows? She's going to need just a, a lot of therapy. Just a calm life. Like yeah. just a normal, a normal life. A normal life. Enjoying holidays as a normal person. Yeah. Not as a... Sick, dying child. With medication and... Re <laughs> uh, crazy. Crazy. Just the craziest. So if you don't know, go check it out. But I I wanna I wanna see the special because I don't want to know about this man who appeared. It kind of makes me angry when you think about it because there's that other girl with the mom that we watched the documentary where the mom 
um, took her life because they accused the mom of being yes! like this mother. Like, exactly. And that like, mom was And not. that mom wasn't. And that girl really. And that girl really was, was sick. sick. And these people in this. What hospital? Massachusetts? Was that it? was in Florida. Florida. Like this poor so, mom was trying to help her daughter. And they. Accused her accused of Munchausen's. Her of this thing that Gypsy Rose's mother had. <laughs> and wouldn't let her see her daughter. And it was not Munchausen. She really has this syndrome that is proven and documented. And the poor mom, because they were sending her to trial, doing this to her, accusing her of this stupid hospital. Mm-hmm. She took her life. And the, and the girl was awarded a huge, huge settlement. Yeah, the whole family. The whole family was. But all the people, the doctor said was, sorry, mm-hmm. that's not acceptable. He belongs in jail. Exactly. Forever. Not for eight years. Forever. Because she was honestly trying to help her daughter. Where the other one was just trying to... Get keep, her out keep, of the situation. Yeah. What the heck? I don't know. It's, it's a crazy. crazy story. One for the new year, I guess. I know. I mean, and there's going to be so much coming out. I mean, yeah. I can't wait for January 5th. I know. I know the girl will be... Gonna learn all the gossip. I mean, I'm glad <laughs> she's going to be financially... Okay. Set now at least because she doesn't know anything. Yeah. Nothing. So now at and least And hopefully this guy has you I know mean, good intentions. He seems okay. I hope so. <laughs> he's seems I don't know. I don't want to say anything about him. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But he's a interesting looking guy. Mm-hmm. And he's a special ed teacher and working, so that's a good thing. That is good. Yes. Okay, and then going on to the next story Ooh, that more. includes Gypsy. Oh, gosh. And our queen, <gasps> queen, Taylor Swift. Gypsy Rose Blanchard says Taylor Swift was her rock in prison. Gypsy Rose Blanchard was in says, prison with it? She went to prison? There was one artist in particular who helped her get through tough times behind bars, Taylor Swift. Of course, Taylor helps everyone. She's been a Swifty from the start, following Taylor's career and leaning on her music while serving eight years in prison. Wait, you get music in jail? Apparently. How? The famous felon says she and Taylor have been through their own eras. And yeah. Taylor's music carried her through some of the most... Um, some of the best and worst times of her life. Oh, Taylor's going to meet her. I know it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> As reported, Gypsy would spend the money her father sent her in prison on Taylor's albums. And Wait, we're told she was able she to purchase them? every album put out, including her re-releases. How? I'm so confused. You're allowed in jail to get order things online? Maybe. I'm so confused. I don't know how jail thing how works. How does jail you. work? How is it? If anyone knows how this jail <laughs> thing works, let me know. Yes, I don't no. get it. <laughs> Gypsy says Taylor songs kept her extremely motivated towards gaining her freedom. And now she's finally out on parole, as we know. So this is what. So Gypsy is hoping she can meet her idol. Oh, she's at going to. this Sunday's Kansas City Chiefs game. Wait, it's oh, been on she's her in radar. The it's been on her radar for a while, and her husband, Ryan, already bought tickets. Oh, it's happening. I don't know. Sources close to Gypsy tell us she's considering giving Taylor a shout-out on social media while at the game in hopes that Taylor sees it. Something Gypsy recognizes is a long shot. Do you know that Gypsy's Instagram already has a blue check like ours? She's verified already. What? Yes. I don't even understand what's it's, happening. <laughs> she's become a huge social media sensation. <laughs> just like us. <laughs> <laughs> Gypsy Rose Blanchard Anderson, public figure, public speaker, author, advocating awareness about Munchausen syndrome by proxy. <laughs> I told you, you don't believe me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I know she will. Okay, first of all, wait. So this Sunday is New Year's Eve day yeah and they're playing a football game let's hope first of all let's hope they win this time not yes, saying let's anything hope they win. except get it together kansas city Mm-hmm. you gotta win this game Completely. so i know she's gonna meet her you think so i do 
You think? I do. Okay. Okay, then I'm going to say she's not going to. <gasps> and then we'll see what happens. Why? Taylor is not going to Because we're making predictions. But predictions. Oh, like a Dumois. <laughs> <laughs> like a Dumois. No, I'm just saying. So Dumois, you know, we talked team... about her. She looked through her crystal ball <laughs> and was wrong. Ah, all the time. Ah, wrong about what she said. But I don't know. I think if Jax and all these other musicians are, are like commenting on her stuff, Taylor will probably meet her. Wow. That I mean, would be wild. Do you think that they bought tickets like in the cold, in the outside, in the down, you know? Or did they get like a booth like Taylor's in? I have no idea. Hmm. Doesn't say. I'm thinking maybe they splurged on a booth. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I think so they, maybe they'll be I like think they next splurged. door neighbors in yeah. the booth. Because here... In a All the booths are clear. You can see through them. Yeah. Which is kind of strange. It's a little creepy. But... That's and the it's way not it is. that warm in there because they're all in their layers still and drinking hot cocoa and stuff. Mm -hmm. So what's the point of the booth? Privacy. That's it. There's nothing it's else. It's still a little warm. Unlimited food, unlimited drinks. Yeah, but I mean Waiter like, service. You're still in the cold, kind of. I mean, you won't get rained on in there at least. But yeah, it's no still rain. cold. Why can't they put heat? There probably is heat. But it's an open, it's open air because you can go outside too, like on the deck or whatever yeah, that is, a like patio, the balcony like, thing, the, like we have in our hotels, t patios, terraces. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We'll see. I think she'll do it. Why aren't we going to that? Game? I mean, she's learned from. Why her... are we here in New York and not in Kansas City? I don't know. What happened? We didn't get on that. The, I guess she's going to what the, the New Year's Eve game. Is there one on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day? I think it's New Year's Eve. So that's New Year's Eve day. No, New Year's Eve, the 31st. Yeah, but during the day. Oh, yes. Yeah, New Year's Eve day. New Year's Eve day, yeah. New Year's Eve day is the game. So Gypsy's going. I want. I bet she'll meet her. Do you know, I wonder if Gypsy will have her own security too because <laughs> she might. Taylor you gets, so? you know, walking. No, they, they showed the paparazzi following her out of a, a DSW or something. I know, she got new sneakers. Yes. And it wasn't... Um, you know, like I get, there was but no. But the paparazzi's following her, so they. Yes, they, but there was no like entourage. You know. No entourage, but she might have to get to that point because she just got out yesterday. Maybe. Yeah. Wait. So the game is at the Chiefs, so it yes. is in Kansas City. Yes. Okay. Bengals, four twenty-five p.m. Sunday, December thirty-first. Oh, so technically that goes into New Year's Eve because New Year's Eve starts at 6 p.m., right? Technically? Eve? I, I don't know. When does New Year's Eve technically start? 6 p.m. is nighttime. Okay. Isn't fine. it? So, yeah. So that's kind of New Year's Eve day into New Year's Eve night to mm -hmm. play. Because the games are long. Yeah. Yeah. I bet you, I, I, I would think she would meet her. Taylor's very nice. We'll see. We'll see. It depends if she splurged on those box seats. Dun, dun, dun. Mystery. Will it unfold? Because I don't think it would happen if she was down in the stands. Well, they have the to seats. bring her upstairs. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't want to sit in the cold outside either. I would take one of the booths mm -hmm. and sit by the heater and watch. Yes. So, should yeah. we move on? Are we Moving ready to on. move on to the next story? Next story. Okay, this one is just so random, but I I was intrigued. I like random. Tourist dies after falling from cliff in New York State Park during hike with husband. The New York State Police said that nor I can't really c pronounce this name exactly. Um, Aisha Binte M.D. Akbar lost her footing and fell off the cliff approximately 70 feet. How is this gossip? <clears throat> because she, they say that she has been hiking on Beacon Hill Trail with her husband when they stopped to take photos at the cliff's edge and she lost her footing. The department said that her husband, 41, called 911 and troopers from state police Ellenville were dispatched to the area and basically got the body and sent it to the hospital. And she was 
like just said that it said that she died. So this is pop culture how? Pop culture because the husband is making ranting Facebook posts. Lengthy. Wait, you think, about what happened? You think he pushed her? So now people are claiming that he pushed her. Yes. Oh. The incident. The incident has is remaining under investigation. This is like he true shared, crime story. Yes, it's, it's a true crime pop it's culture. It's a pop culture true crime. He shared his recollection of what happened in a lengthy Facebook post that included a video from their hike. Wait, he took a video of himself pushing her off the <laughs> mountain? I don't get it. <laughs> that is weird. Um, And then he claims that right after she fell off the cliff, I rushed forward, slipped, but didn't fall off the cliff. Oh, he's a miracle man with glue sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, I wish it had been me. I screamed for help at the top of my lungs, and three sisters who heard my cries rushed over to my spot with their father and aunt. So anyway, he just, he basically is writing all these posts. Yeah, and, and then, they say that means you're guilty because mm, normally you don't say anything if you're not guilty. But they say on these true crime shows, because I watch these mm -hmm. true crime shows and podcasts, that if a person like does that and goes a little overboard, you know that they did it. Exactly. So once that post was posted, then people started uh -oh. accusing him on Facebook and he made another post. Oh, this guy better stop. <laughs> buddy, glue sneaker buddy, stop. <laughs> stop now. Stop now because you're digging a hole. Stop typing. Stop typing because they're going to take those glue sneakers and you're going over the cliff next. Exactly. Oh, my goodness. So now it's under investigation. Oh, I think it's been under... When did this happen? Just this week. This just happened. Yeah. He's been under investigation. I'm surprised they even let him have his social media. <laughs> his, he should have a lawyer that's like, you need to stop, buddy. Exactly. Enough. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a different kind of pop culture. It is. I mm -hmm. thought it was interesting. And it happened in New York. Yes, that's why. Welcome to New York. Welcome to New mm. York. We've been waiting for you with glue sneakers on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next story. Next story. Luanne de Lesseps bashes. Oh, that lady's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> she said something crazy. Luanne de Lesseps bashes Bethany Frankel at Christmas Cabaret Show. Why bite the hand that feeds you? Luanda Lesseps roasted her former Real Housewives of New York co-star Bethany Frankel over her reality reckoning during her sold-out holiday cabaret show. Now back to Bethany. You know, listen, why bite the hand that feeds you, De La Sepp said while performing her show. Because a the very hand countess is feeding Christmas. you poison! <laughs> it's not feeding you something good! So Bethany's trying to help you, crazy woman! <laughs> A source tells us that Deliceps was responding to a fan who asked about her thoughts on Frankel. The Bravo Liberty then slammed Frankel for also going after Bravo executive Andy Cohen and NBC Universal. Why bite Andy? Why bite NBC? Deliceps asked. Why bite Andy? <laughs> we would want to bite Andy. <laughs> He's not a nice guy. So <laughs> let everybody bite Andy. What's the difference? <laughs> Do you know about Andy? Speaking of Andy. We'll talk about it in a second. Okay. You know, just go off into the sunset, she said of Frankel. You make millions and gazillions of dollars. If you claim you do, then why are you still harping on us? Why are you talking about us? Because she's trying to help you, Della crazy lady. Della Seps and cheered, referencing Frankel's popular phrase in the show. Leave us alone. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the audience went wild. For Delisup's performance in the Big Apple, it was a full house and the audience was going nuts. I needed three martinis, a source said. <laughs> I first of all, I can't believe this I can't lady even believe this. sells She's tickets doing to this. a show. Like she can't sing. Hello, has anyone besides Ramona told her she can't sing? It's very interesting, but people love it. I guess if you really love the housewives and you're like a uh, intense fan maybe sure, uh, yeah that's why you would go just because you need to 
meet a housewife or whatever. I don't know. But, like, she's not good. No, but people love it. It's it's. I think it's more of a night out. It's a night out of like comedy. Like you just go, you go for the drinks, the laughter, oh, and yeah. and just being around a, a Bravo celebrity. I don't think you're there for the vocals. Yeah, and and <laughs> Bethany, who we know, has she's a very good business person, and she does have a lot of investments in businesses, which are successful. So she can try to help everyone else on the show mm-hmm. and try to defend them, but Luann doesn't want her help, I guess. No. I don't see Luann flying around on a private jet, do you? No. I see Bethany flying around on a private jet. Yes. Yes. I think this. she's just bitter. Jealous. Jealous! That's what it is. Luann is jealous, jealous of Bethany. That's what I, think I think a lot of them are jealous of Bethany. Yeah. I mean, that's obvious because... I mean, we tried to watch Roni Legacy. That was terrible. <laughs> Honestly, I was very disappointed. It's and not I love even like, my Dorinda, but... I love... I know. It's not good. It's it's terrible. It's also just... They're all... They're just all older and... I, it's I not feel even like, like entertainment. It's not. <laughs> like, the, the one crazy person is trying to say a random crazy thing to start a fight, but it's not working. It's not even good. Yeah, the, the, this is like the worst scripted reality show ever. It's the it's honestly one of the worst seasons I've ever seen. It's tr- terrible. It's not good. They're I, trying I to. I think re- I fell asleep <laughs> while you were watching it. Honestly, <laughs> they're trying to relive something that was just you know it was. It's it heyday was like is mo- ended. Yes. It's sailed. Their ship has sailed. Move on, everyone. It really was. It it was screaming. Move on. Yeah, it was like just. Move on and let it go. Mm -hmm. Let's sing Elsa. Let it go. (laughs) Let it go. (laughs) Let it go and move on. Wait, I was just going to say something. You said we'll talk about it. Oh, yes, about Andy. (laughs) Oh, yeah. So this is so (laughs) good. This is is like the perfect way to end 2023. (laughs) (laughs) It is just. It's karma. Karma is. Yeah, karma. This is karma. So this is how smart he is. He got a call and was conned into giving his information out. (laughs) And everything of his bank account got stolen. (laughs) That is karma. He was scammed by one of those phone calls that they do to the older people. You don't see Bethany Frankel getting scammed. (laughs) Anyone else would have hung up the phone. But this guy gave all of his details. Apparently, he sat on the phone for an hour and 10 minutes. This is how silly he is. <laughs> but this is karma. It, it, it is karma, this I have to say. This is karma for not being a nice man and for wearing that ugly outfit <laughs> on the red carpet <laughs> at the jingle ball. A hundred percent. So, yeah. Anyone, if you get a phone call, just don't talk. Just hang up. <laughs> At because, this point, yeah. At this point, don't trust anyone. Don't trust anybody that calls. You don't even know if it's really them. Because it could be Andy trying to get money from someone else to, you know, relinquish what he lost. You never know. Although these like these scammers are getting really They're good at smart. their job. <laughs> yeah, they figured out how to forward all of his cell phone calls to themselves. Mm-hmm. So if he, whoever he called, it would go to them. Yeah, like if Bethany called him. It would go to the scammers. The scammers, not him. Can you imagine? And then if he was going to call Bethany, it would go to the scammers. So his cell phone in <laughs> and out. Says that he's talking to these people, but it's not them. But it's not them. It's the scammers. <laughs> How do you, those people are geniuses. He, yeah. Yeah. Completely. Wow. Amazing. But. Amazing scammer. Karma. Go scammers. <laughs> <laughs> It's I terrible. Mean, I, I mean, don't I don't. I don't wish should, anyone to no, get scammed. I don't but. want anyone to be scammed. So that's why I'm saying, just hang up your phone immediately. Mm-hmm. But sometimes it's entertainment at its finest. Karma. Yes. That's all. And on that note, that is the end of my pop culture. Well, that was fun, Tink. It was fun. 
was actually some fun pop culture. It was a fun ride. Being really, nothing's happening this week. Exactly. So we have to talk about, you know, I mean, the good, woman that good there was something. Gets, goes off the cliff. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. And we talked about Taylor, the queen. And of we talked course. about how they lost the game last week. Yeah. Ridiculous. Moving on. They better win this week. Happy mm-hmm. New Year, Obi. Happy New Year. Yeah. So on to pop culture? Yes. All right. Here we go. Pop culture, here we come. Here we come. Episode 51 of Pop Culture on the Way. A Pennsylvania shelter. <laughs> <laughs> Is she laughing? Tink's laughing and it's I not am. even a funny story. Pennsylvania shelter was packed with cats and dogs just two weeks ago. Today, all of the kennels are empty for the first time in 47 years. My goodness. The SPCA in Adams County, Pennsylvania is beyond excited that the shelter is empty, especially because it's holiday time. Yeah. Community stepped up first time in 47 years. There's nobody in the shelter. Now this is fabulous. So excited. They adopted 598 animals and reunited 125 strays with their owners this year. So, that's a true miracle. Just like my barking on command is a true miracle. Congratulations Um, to them. Two Christmas miracles. Moving on. A U.S. Air Force staff sergeant and his former military working dog, John had been separated for over two years. The 10-year-old German Shepherd prepares now for retirement, and the American Humane surprised the dog and his handler with a pre-holiday reunion in San Antonio, Texas. Mm. During the three years that um, Alcala was John's handler, the two formed a strong bond. They were separated in September of 2021 when Alcala was reassigned to another base. We worked together every day for three years that I was there, he said. Oh, look, there's a picture. Oh. So when Alcala heard that John was retiring, he reached out to the nonprofit organization American Humane for help in transporting his best friend home for adoption. When a military dog is retired from service, it can be difficult for the military to track down the animal's most recent handler for adoption and navigate the complex logistics of transporting the animal home. American Humane, based in Washington, D.C., handled the process of international and national transport, including paperwork, red tape, costs, to enable the retired canine veterans to be adopted by their former handlers. When I found out John was up for retirement, of course I wanted him so bad. I heard about the American Humane through a buddy of mine, so I thought I'd reach out and see what they could do for me and John. Well, they graciously to help and picked him up in Hawaii, transported him back to Texas. So now they're reunited. Oh. Another holiday miracle. Wow, these are some Look you how know. happy John is. Oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Very happy indeed. Yeah, he apparently had a special retirement ceremony in Hawaii, but then he was to be nowhere. He wanted to be back with his old partner, and they're back together again. These are such sweet stories. Nice stories. Now, this is not a nice story, and Uh-oh. I don't understand this at all. <laughs> oh, no. Denver Nuggets, which is for those non-sports the people like basketball me. Ga- the basketball team, Go right? Tink, score. Boom. Denver Nuggets. Why is it so nuggets? A, I don't know. What's a nugget? Do they, does it have to do with like gold mining or something, a nugget? Oh, you're so smart, though. I'm young but very wise, as we all know. <laughs> so the Denver, Denver nuggets, nuggets forward, Aaron Gordon, will be out indefinitely after suffering cuts to his hand and face resulting from dog bites on Christmas Day. What? <laughs> I don't understand this. What? Updates on his condition will be provided as necessary. Apparently, this is like their top player. Gordon apparently was attacked and had like 28 stitches on his face and his hand that is his right hand and his dribbling and shooting hand. So he's out indefinitely. They're not saying who the dog was. I don't know who the dog was. I can't find it anywhere, but apparently... He's devastated mentally. Oh my goodness. Between being attacked by this dog and not being able to play. I 
would be the same. Yeah. So we wish uh, Aaron a speedy recovery and that his dribbling shooting hand gets back to what yeah. it's supposed to be. Oh, my goodness. And I hope the Nuggets can win without the guy, you know. Are, are they a good team? Apparently they are. Hmm. That's why there's they're at such a loss now. It says that, that the Nuggets refers to the 19th century mining boom in Colorado when I'm people right. rushed to the area hoping to make their fortune Score for by panning for gold and silver nuggets. See, score for <laughs> Bell. Of course, Very smart. We went there to Denver. Yes, multiple times. Mm-hmm. Multiple. Yeah, so I know. I, I retain things. Mm-hmm. Okay, moving on. Next story. So there's a large study that suggests pets living with others can slow down the decline of cognitive skills that tend to come as people age. Oh. Cognitive decline in older adults is a major public health issue. With almost 10% of the U.S. adults ages 65 and older estimated to have dementia and 32% estimated to have some degree of cognitive impairment. Previous research has shown that living alone and social isolation are associated with an increased risk of cognitive decline with age. Mm -hmm. So, the research indicates that having long-term high-quality relationships is not only important for happiness, but for promoting good brain health and reducing the risk of dementia. Pet ownership has been shown to reduce feelings of loneliness and isolation in those living alone. But up to now, no study had directly compared the rates of cognitive decline between the pet owners and the non-pet owners. So this new study published by JAMA Neurology found that pet ownership was associated with the slower rates of decline of cognitive skills. So it's a fact. We are better for humans. Wow. So everybody We're fabulous. get a pet, everybody. Here's fabulous fluff. Everybody has to get making, a pet. Making humans better. Yes, making all humans better. All humans better. Decreasing bettering the lives of decreasing humans. Decreasing their declining <laughs> cognitive skills. hmm I think that's fabulous. And that was my last story, but I just have to say one last thing. Did Fierce, you fabulous did, fluff. did you all get the visual of uh Paris Hilton's little son, Phoenix, playing with their their little puppy? No. Just because we've talked about... Oh, does he have a beret on? Yes, because the size beret. of his head... Oh, leave him alone. He's a cutie. They've tried to cover his head. He's That's cute. That's why I'm just touching on it. He's very cute and he's very happy. Puppy he, play date. He likes the puppy. Oh. And, uh, and Paris Hilton was like, be gentle, be gentle... And they're having such fun, he and the puppy. That's yes, very, they put, she very puts a cute. hat on his head. Yeah, but it's the cutest hat. Yes, it is. He looks like a little French boy. Yeah, he is very cute. In spite of the size of his head. He smiles. He's a happy boy. Mm-hmm. Um, I think anyone would be a happy boy to be Paris Hilton. Did son. you see? Paris Hilton has a, a literally a house built for a the dogs. for dogs, yes. And it's got a gated area and everything. Mm-hmm. I want to go there. I've ne- It's got... It's 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 a bigger house than than people have just for her dog. I know. <laughs> really? Did you guys see it? I don't know if everyone saw it. You can see it if you watch yeah, the, watch the Demi, special. Demi Lovato. What was it on? Uh, Roku. Uh, Roku. Demi Lovato Christmas it's free. special. Yeah, it's free. You can stream it. It's not good, but you can see Paris Hilton's dog house, mm-hmm. which is bigger than people's houses. It's amazing, and the puppies love it. Yeah, but the all, special... They all hang out there. Eh, the special, ah, eh, not so good. Mm, yeah, I wouldn't recommend the special. Just no. fast forward to that part. <laughs> we love you, Demi, but eh, eh. not so good. So, episode 51, that come into an end. Is that it? I think that's it. <gasps> I know. Wow. So remember, go get your uh, market calendars for the Gossip Pup 24% off sale. And Tinkerbell yes. and Bell merch. And the next time you hear from us, it will be... 2024. 2024. A new year. Yeah. My goodness. But we'll still continue to send you a 2023 Christmas card if you write a review. Mm-hmm. 
Yes, we will. Yes, we will. We will promise. Promise. Yes. So make sure to review. Listen, like, subscribe, and give us five paws up. Five paws up. 24,000 paws up, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Any questions, you know where to get us. Gossipups at gmail.com. Gossipups at gmail.com. Happy New Year! Year and Happy Weekend! XOXO. Woof! Fierce, fabulous, fluff. Talking about stuff. Gossip Pups. Fierce, fabulous, fluff. Talking about stuff. Gossip Pups.